We call him Billy. I call him William. He doesn't seem to mind. And couldn't you have found anything more old-fashioned or uncomfortable to dress him in? James, we will talk about this. I will listen to what you have to say, but please lower your voice. Now, as for the clothes, I thought they would be more suitable for the funeral. He isn't going to the funeral? Yes, he is. I promised Maggie. She wouldn't have wanted him there. James will try to stop Billy coming to my funeral. Don't let him marry. Billy needs to see all my friends and will need to say goodbye to me. He thinks about things a lot, does my boy. We all grieve in different ways. William's way is to sleep. We don't all shout and sob uncontrollably and drink too much. You mean talking to Helen? I don't mean to get at you. I'm just trying to say that, that William's way is more like mine. That must be why Maggie wanted him to come here. That's what I'm afraid of. What do you mean by that? Just look at you. Look at the state of you. It's been 11 years since your husband died and you're still dragging yourself around. You're hiding from life behind those glasses and these, these old lady clothes. You live off bits of stuff a mouse wouldn't eat. And you do these, these, these bunches of so-called good deeds just to fill up your days. Like you've coped so well. So you'll excuse me if I don't want my son to grieve your way. I want him to have a life when all this is over. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so, I'm so... Please, please, you... You haven't seen William, he needs you. He doesn't need me. He needs his mum. He needs his mum. He's never needed me. Doesn't like me, can't even speak to me. You just have to wait. You just got to listen to what he says when he does speak. You have him. If you know so much about him. No, no, James. Mate was very particular on that. Don't. Please don't. I'll see you at the funeral. What about tomorrow? <laughs> 